Welcome again. This short video is going to look at the process we would use to accumulate on directional options positions. We're going to use the example of a bought call in this particular situation. And really, this process that we're going to put forward to you can be used for you to develop your own mini trading plan in terms of when you may accumulate. So the process is as follows. It's often pre-planned. And if so, we may enter on a low position size to start with. Okay, so it may be that market conditions aren't the best. We want some confirmation. We've got a data point coming up perhaps. And we may start with entering 10 contracts with the idea of adding another 10 if the market subsequently looks good. Remember, we accumulate into a winning position only because we never average down our losses by accumulating into a losing position. If it is pre-planned, then we usually enter an out-of-the-money option. And we plan to accumulate additional contracts at this strike. So, for example, if the underlying stock's trading at 25, uh, we may enter a $26 call with the idea that if it breaks 26, we may subsequently enter more of the 26 call that we've already got in place. We predetermine an accumulation level. For example, we may choose 280R from our entry or the break of the price point. We may look at a pivot high, a break of that or a resistance break. And it must be a minimum of six weeks to expiry. Another rule that we have in place is that we accumulate a one-for-one one maximum. So if we have initially opened 20 contracts, then the maximum we can open is another 20 contracts. We may choose to enter 20 contracts first, then another 10, then another 10, if there are key price points on the way up. And what we do is every time we accumulate on the position, we trail the stop up to break even on our initial position as a minimum. And what this means is the risk of the trade is no different theoretically from the original entry, providing there's not a big gap down. And then, of course, we can recalculate the dollar cost of the position based on the average of the two positions entered. So that is the process that we would use to accumulate on a directional options position. Again, make sure you write down your particular plan and test it out fully before, of course, you put it into the reality of your trading in the market. Any questions, of course, just drop us a line and we'll see you again soon.